And here it is, the long form video of how I make my irrigation maps using an app called Baza Art. It's actually a photo editing app that you can do a whole bunch of different things with. I use it to make uh, the photos you see in some of the videos I make. But in this case, we're gonna make a map with it. And what we started with while I was jabbering on was a screenshot on Google Earth. And the reason why I use Google Earth is because none of the street names or any of the identifiers are on there. So I have a nice clean map to start with. As you see here, we put the north arrow on the map to show which direction north is. I will eventually move that towards the end of this. Um, I also put on to the map where the pump and controller are located with little X's so that I can show where that's at. And to show where the zones are at, I'm selecting the shapes tool or graphics tool I think it's called and I'm just selecting a rectangle as my shape and then I'm making that rectangle a different size and different color depending on where the zone is so I'm working on the yellow zone here that yellow zone was actually a zone that we added after the fact when this property installed a generator for a cell phone tower that's on top of the building they came in and broke that whole section of the irrigation system and then they needed to add a bunch of extra sprinkler heads which wouldn't have worked with the sprinkler system so we found an extra wire and added a valve and added a zone in that corner so that's what that yellow corner is that has nothing to do with this video that's just me explaining what we did there um, as time goes on here I'm placing even more of these boxes around the property you saw that I put that red box around the back side of the pool area there where the controller and the pump are located and then I changed the shape. What I did there is I used the eraser tool to erase around the areas where the irrigation isn't and created a special shape for that. Now I could have spent a lot more time making these shapes exactly the size of the areas. You could see how the green at the top here next to the big red square is overlapping. I could have made that a little bit more cleaner if I spent a lot more time on this. This entire thing actually took me a good 30 minutes to put together and then I sped it up for this video. Now I'm going to label each of the zones on the property and you'll notice I start to label the yellow zone 5 and then I realize that that's not going to work because that's not what it's labeled as. So we skip it and we're going to go ahead and label all the rest of them around the property in order because that just makes sense for me to do that in order. And then eventually when we get down to the end here, we'll put that last zone, which ends up being 23. We have an HPC controller on this property, so it is a smart system. And this is what it looks like with all the valves also located on the map.